a beautiful morning, very bucky morning. Sprout is finally in with the boys. First morning waking up with them. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin. Welcome back to Fable Hill Farm. Just a really quick morning chore video for you guys. My daughter Ellie, who is almost two, is out here with me helping me to feed the ducks and move the turkeys. I got all my goat milking dough chores done and then Ellie woke up and I got her dressed and got her some milk and a banana and threw her in the ranger and said, we're going to do chores. So uh, she's currently helping me to feed the ducks and keeps putting their food in the water. But you know, she's not hurting anything. She's staying busy. She's listening pretty well and uh, I'm getting the chores done. So uh, Sprout, my Nigerian dwarf buckling who was born here in May with his twin sister, Sai, Fable Hill Springtime Sai, my first ever registered homebred goat, Nigerian dwarf goat, is Sai, and uh, her mom, Sunny, is just an awesome, beautiful little milker, and excited to see her develop and freshen. Here's uh, Sprout, in with the bucks, and Uchid, our livestock guardian dog, just posted an update on him. I will link that video uh, down below. If you're interested in watching, Uhtred is eight months old and he is a great Pyrenees and he lives full time with our goats and our Muscovy ducks and our chickens. And we've got our turkeys out in the tractor there, out in the buck pasture. This stage with my almost two year old daughter now is a lot easier stage doing chores in the morning. We've finally mostly gotten past the picking up P-O-O-P, -O -O and uh, now she's helping to feed the ducks and not trying to eat it and currently not running off, though could happen at any moment. We are going to need to butcher some of our Muscovies and some turkeys and this dwarf meat chicken Godzilla, who finally is no longer a dwarf, like four or five weeks after all of his compadres were butchered he finally came to size and he's going to be butchered amara looking for trouble this morning hi y'all good morning she's busy she's a good helper well i'm just gonna finish giving these guys water and go move the turkeys Oh, nice, ooh, ooh. saying good morning to Ellie. He has always just adored her. Still gotta move the turkeys, got their water, their drains because they want their morning drain. And Ellie's just been watching a little cocoa melon. So that's keeping her occupied because it's at the end of chores and she's over it because she is a toddler, right? Turkeys have clean water. They've got their morning non-GMO grain and they've got their fresh grass for the day. So these aren't heritage birds. I've got the bronze breasted and the white breasted turkeys. And the reason why I knew they'd be successful out here in this turkey tractor, which if you're new to the channel, this is the first time that we've ever done this, put turkeys out in a tractor. We've only ever raised two turkeys before. The first year we totally failed because all of our poults died. Second year we raised two. And then this year we have eight in here and they're doing so well on pasture. And I just wanna show you guys for being not heritage breed turkeys, how well they do at actually working this grass over and foraging during the day. So you can see the trail where they've come through the pasture and they've gone all around and back there. And then we'll start, you know, putting them over here there's still tons of pasture and we had our Cornish cross you can see they're stripping all this grass away and you can see this is the section they were just on you know not a ton of manure but a good amount I mean turkeys are big birds they poop but they have really worked this grass over there's so many bugs and grasshoppers and different things out here beetles and whatever else and you can see I 
miss the track. It's hard to be perfect when you're just pulling the ranger forward. So on either side of this, you can really see the amount of work that they're putting in in a day. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> this tarp has been shredded this year. We'll have to replace it for next year probably. They're doing good. They're eating. They're growing beautifully. And we're going to be butchering several of them here soon. And I think just uh, turning them into ground turkey. We bought a nice meat grinder this year that we haven't used yet. And we're excited to grind up some turkey and test it out. Maybe do some duck sausage. Uh, like some seasoned, like a breakfast sausage I want to try. Bye turkeys. Beautiful morning. Yeah, there is a bug on the window. Open the gate, shut the gate. Open the gate, shut the gate. This is what we do. Very important farm rule. Always leave a gate the way you found it. If the gate is open, leave it open. If the gate is shut, leave it shut. The only time the first part of that rule doesn't apply is if you know that gate should be shut or there's animals clearly on the loose, then maybe you should find the farmer and figure out if that gate's actually supposed to be open. Quick look at the garden. Well guys, Ellie and I are gonna go in and have breakfast. Thanks for watching this quick morning farm chore update with us. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. All the ducks went away. Aww.